come on, world, we got to do this. This is good for us. The key is that the sustainable development goals are achievable, and they're really smart. The 193 governments of the world came together on a good thing, which is to make sure that there's prosperity, that it's fairly shared, and that it is environmentally sustainable. All 17 goals are interconnected, but there is a very important uh, relationship between health, education, and security that we really need to recognize. And in order to really propel that forward, we have to talk about the role of women and girls, girls' education, women's reproductive rights, and how that really does transform the entirety of, of the uh, SDG strategy. The big thing about the Sustainable Development Goals is they are for everybody and they're about everybody. So my first thing would be to say, what do you care most about? You worried about feminism, you worried about education, you worried about jobs, you worried about climate. And then say to them, well, actually, your government has said, has made a promise that they will actually find solutions to those things. So when you're fighting at your most local level, you're part of a huge global fight and you can apply the global muscle to that local level empower people or tell people the solutions of the ways that they can like actually make a difference but they can see that they can take control of uh, of their own environment education is the key to ch make the change, truly leaving no one behind. As your generation, to do something that nobody has done before, you'll be the first ones to do it. And if you do it, nobody has to do it anymore after you. So you'll be the only ones to do it. And that is to irreversibly eradicate poverty in a more sustainable and equitable way. Women all over the world, from the U.S. to other parts of the world, are doing their bit. It's time for the rest of the world to walk the talk. and then we'll have a better world. Don't settle for small things. You can redesign the whole world in the way you can imagine. Don't just go over little things here and little things there. That's not what your, your the capacity that you have uh, is good for. Your capacity is to do massive things, mega things. It's
it's really getting people where they're comfortable and saying, listen, you don't have to work on all 17, that's not the idea, but it's about engaging them in, in the kind of the ecosystem and saying, this is what we're working towards. This is the one proper plan on the table that deals with every single issue. And I think that's something that people want and will increasingly fight for. And a plan with a deadline, which is always exciting. We all have to be committed to give equal opportunities to the poor. And if you offer equal opportunities to the poor, then we're talking about a more prosperous and stable world. These SDGs are an opportunity for us to be able to look at the needs of society and like create that plan and implement that plan of making the world uh, a place that fills the needs for all of us. strategic ways to, to sustain our planet. Now it's time to roll up our sleeves and really get to work, to build trust and show true leadership. We need people all over the world to be saying we need responsible action. And we need young people, we need new ideas, we need innovative strategies to actually be able to move forward.